and that saves it on your software. Now that hasn't uploaded to your site at the moment. So once you're happy with that, um, um, you would normally hit upload. What you can do as well on this white area here is where all the properties will display. You can change the display of that. So at the moment I'm viewing it via street names. If you hit property, display, you can do it through property reference. As you can see, property reference. Street name is what I had previously or property ID. That's the third one I've added so far to this software because I've deleted the other two. But I'm going to leave it at street names at the moment. So once I'm happy with that and everything seems to be correct, I'll just hit upload. Um, when it's doing this, make sure you leave it to do its um, to do its upload because it's processing the images, resizing them, and placing it into the soft uh, into the website. Um, it can take um, can take a while depending on how many you're uploading at once. If you have large images, it will take longer to resize them, um, and it also depends on your internet speed and you know, how fast your computer is running at the same time. So if you've got a slow internet. Um, it can um, it can cut uh, can take a while. Sorry, if your internet cuts out, you will probably have to upload it again. But we're going to talk about that in another tutorial, talking about the uh, the record count down at the bottom here, because it's quite important. So just wait for that to upload. Um, I'm actually using a, a temporary website at the moment because I haven't changed my um, my name servers. Um, so, because I haven't changed my name servers, my photographs won't display um, because it's on the temporary website. So, if I've changed my domain name servers, the photographs will display. Um, so just going to still wait for that to upload. <coughs> and as you can see, upload done. That means the upload is complete and the record count is at zero. That's what you want to see. Also, to edit this property, if it's incorrect, we we'll go through that in a minute. So if I go now to my website, like so, just going to close these down first. Nope. Um, if I go to lettings, because that's where I've placed the property in, as you can see, my photograph hasn't hasn't displayed because I haven't changed my name servers. So I'm actually on a temporary link so once I've changed my name servers that would show and so this area here is the property listings page uh, you've got your property details up here and then this small bit of text there is actually cut it actually comes off the um, long description so that's the long description that's this bit here okay Let's minimize that and then these are uh, Bar, uh, bedrooms, bathrooms, and receptions. Now, if I click on more, as you can see, property details down the side. Print property, uh, print property details as well. If you have the PDF document, you have a button here with uh, the PDF document here. This is the overview, the short description, and then you've got the features as well. Again, photograph not displaying because I'm on the temporary link. Um, photos, and then we've got property details, maps, and street view. These are generated from the postcode, so as you can see, it's placed us in the middle of green lanes. And the same with the map as well. Uh, the EPC, see, it's already built the graph for you, so you don't have to worry about uploading um, any images there. And an inquire form as well. Um, because I haven't filled in uh, any floor plans, as you can see here, see there's nothing filled in there, uh, what it will do is it won't show the floor plan tab. So it looks like you've never missed out any information, that's quite good. Um, so if I had a floor plans, it would squeeze into here, and it would show you oh, in between there, and it will show you floor plans. And the same with the Easy Virtual Tour, it will say Easy Virtual Tour Show. So that's how you upload a property. If I go back to the home page, I just double check what, as you can see, area North London. If I do a search on here, area North London, I press submit, it will only show the properties in the area of North London, and that's the North London area 
um, property at the moment because we've placed it into North London. And this area here, this will actually place a um, symbol of a sold, hold and let um, on each property on the listing page. So if we go back to our site, on my site, you see here there's no um, symbol. Now what you've got to do um, when doing this is you've got to remember that if you press let here to say that this isn't available, first you've got to press the edit. If you press let here, and then you've got to make this uh, unavailable and then again press save and that will save and then press upload if we go back to the site like so and just press F5 you'll notice it has a let in the background there now to show that that has been let so just make sure when when using that facility here and um, that the status reflects if it's let sold hold or if it's available and um, yeah so that's how you upload a property um, so thanks for listening